Welcome my audience in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do a new recipe how to make dry meat or pastrama in uh, at home. The ingredients for the first step is hard salt or tough salt and a piece of meat and some tissues. First I get a piece of meat uh, it's clean, no fats in the meat. I put some tissues in the dish like this and put some uh, some salt, the salt on the piece of meat from two sides. Are you following me? So delicious, dried meat, so delicious. And then cover it with tissues. Tissues without any smell. And bought something like this. Then put a heavy thing on it, a heavy thing on the meat. Then put it in the fridge for 24, 24 hours, one day in the fridge. And at the same time, tomorrow I will complete the video. After one day, after 24 hours, I get out the piece of meat from the fridge. You can notice that the tissues all completely have the, the blood of the meat. The blood of the meat were on the tissues. You can notice that the meat has uh, dried and it's not completely dried. So I will hang the meat in the fridge. I will hang the meat in the fridge. I give needle, I have needle and put string, strong string in the middle and I put the needle here. Then I hang the piece of meat in the fridge. For uh, for another one day. Yes, I hang it in the fridge. After one day, after twenty four hours, I come again and I will put the spices on the meat and I will complete uh, the dried. Meat. After one day in the fridge, we get out with the piece of meat. And it's dried. We have some spices to complete and make dried meat. Uh, it's a cold pastrum. The other spices we add garlic, green pepper, and small small uh, spoon of salt, black pepper, lantern seed, paprika, coriander and the nutmeg and fun grick fun grick and two small spoons of oil and two spoon spoon small of water we mix all the ingredients and all the spices in the mixer and we put the mixture on the meat i will put uh, the spices in the mixture and i come back again after I mix the ingredients, all ingredients, spices and cream paper and garlic together, I put all the mixture on the meat. I hope you enjoy watching the video and subscribing the channel.
and write what's your opinion on the video pasterma is very delicious it's dried meat and I will hang it for seven days in the fridge you can follow me I cover the meat with a mixture from all sides Finally, I hang the meat in the fridge for seven days and I will come again to tell you or show you how it become. After one week, the pasterma has been dried. Uh, you can uh, cut now into the small slices. Uh, I will cut the, the pasterma and I come again to show you at the end. At the end, I cut pasterma or dried meat into small uh, into slices you can see I cut it into slices. now it's ready to use at any uh, receipt if you like the video please subscribe the channel if you have any comments please write it to me thank you and goodbye hello everybody in our channel learn cooking today we learn how to make a job the ingredients I have one egg part and cut into halves, potato boiled and, and mashed, uh, one egg pita, uh, spices I have salt, black pepper, and coriander, cup of oil, and bread crumb. I boil the egg and cut into halves. I put the spices, salt, and black pepper, and coriander on the potato and smash and mash mix them together then I take a, a small portion of mixture on your palm and make it flat by pressing it take one half of egg and cover it with our potato from all sides and you can follow me Make a fine ball to look like an oval shape. I put them it in bread is in bread crumbs. Coat with bread crumbs like this. And then in the egg, again in the bread crumb. I leave it as I set it aside for 10 minutes then I will uh, fry it in the oil I repeat the same steps with the other one 
now I put my oil on the fire. When it gets hot, I fry the egg with potato with onion. I leave them for about 10 minutes on a high uh, flame. Now I finished and fry the egg potato, the egg with the potato and chopped and mashed. I hope you tell me your opinion about this recipe. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make egg chop. Uh, ingredients I have two boiled eggs and the cut into halves. Potato, two boiled and smashed potato, one egg I repeated, uh, bread crumbs, and the onion. I will fry it in the oil. Uh, this potato I put salt and coriander and black pepper <coughs> on this potato. So I didn't put any other spices. I put the spices on the potato. I put salt, coriander, and uh, black pepper on the potato. I fry the, the onion with a little oil. This way is by, uh, is by uh, fried onion. You can eat it a snake in uh, dinner, breakfast, as you like. When it becomes Brown has a golden color brown. It's a rich. Now Now it's ready. I put the potato on the onion. I chopped the egg. I beat uh, it up. I beat the egg. Okay. I put the onion and mix it up together. I take the egg and cover it with potato. As I said, the potato has, uh, I put on the potato the spicy salt, curry, dairy, and black pepper. 
I cover the potato, the egg with potatoes. And you can follow me like this. I cover it with potato on on all sides like this. It has an oval shape. Now I put in the bread crumbs. I put in the bread crumbs. Then in the egg. After I put it in, then I put in the egg, beaten egg, then again in the uh, bread crumbs, and leave it inside, leave it, set it aside. Repeat the same steps with the other eggs. Leave it for 10 minutes until I boil in a hot, in a boiling egg, in a boiling oil. Repeat the same with the other egg. I make an oval shape. I cover the egg from all sides. I cover it with bread chunk, with bread crumbs. Then in bit of oil. Egg. Again, in the breadcrumbs, and leave it uh, or set it aside for ten minutes. Now I put the oil on the fire. When it gets hot, I fry the egg with potato, with onions. I leave them for about 10 minutes on a high uh, flame. After it fried, I get them from the oil. I hope you're trying this receipt. It's a very nice and very delicious. I get out on kitchen tissue. I hope you try doing this receipt. The put the egg chopped with onion. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try your you know your opinion about the video. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Today, we'll learn how to make uh, an egg with pasta. 
This is Therma I do at home. You will find a video how to make Therma at home on the channel. Uh, I have pieces of uh, Therma chopped Therma, as you can see. One egg, one spoon of butter, black pepper, and salt. On a fire, I put a spoon of uh, butter. On a low fire, to fry the sterma. I fry the sterma in the butter. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Tell me your opinion about the video in the channel. It's very easy. You can eat it in the breakfast, dinner. The, the channel has a lot of videos. I hope you know to uh, your opinion. It's a fry now. In a plate, I put the an egg in a plate. Like this. And beat it quickly. Now the sperma. Fried and let it fry. I put the egg now. I put a little of salt on the egg, a little of black pepper on the egg, and mix it up. Then I add the egg on a low heat. I mix them quickly. I hope you try doing this since I finished. Turn off the fire. I hope you try doing this to receive and tell me your opinion. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon to know that I upload the video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. So they will learn how to uh, how to make uh, farm breads with the cheese. I have one potato. I peel it and wash it well. Uh, some pieces of uh, cheese, turkey cheese. They are powdered turkey cheese. I cut the potato into slices. Like this. I cut into fingers
So, I should be hot. I wish them again. I put the potato in the oil. Leave them for five minutes until it become medium, then I cut. Now after the potato become medium done, I pick out them on a kitchen tissue. Next, I put them in the freezer to be frozen. The potato now is hot. I put a little of cheese powder cheese I put them in the freezer for two hours in I come again now I put the oil on the fire become hot I get out the frozen potato from the freezer then I put them in the oil I leave them until they are fried. They are very delicious. I turn off the fire. You can eat it as a snack besides the meals as you like. If you like the video please subscribe the channel i hope you try doing this and tell me your opinion about it thank you hello everybody in our channel learn cooking today we'll learn how to make farm fruits with a red chili hot and salt and lemon uh, i have one potato i cut into slices and fingers I cut them like this. I wash the potato with water well, then I put in a hot oil.
Now after 5 minutes I get them out of oil. When they are hot, now I put the salt and red pepper, red chili pepper, like this. Then I squeeze the lemon and leave them in the freezer for two hours to be frozen. Now I get the potato from freezer and I have a hot oil. I put the potatoes and leave them. I hope you try doing this with it for me friends. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try doing this. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today we'll learn how to do a farm fried potato with salt and vinegar. I have one piece of tomato potato. I cut into slices. I put the oil on a fire, on a high fire. I cut the potato. I hope you try and doing this recipe. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. You can eat this potato as a snack at any meal beside uh, meals. I wash them all, then I come again to put them in the oil. I put them in the oil. Now I get them out of oil on the kitchen tissue. I put them in another plate and put a little of salt. And a little of vinegar. When it's hot, it takes the spice and the test. Put them in the freezer for two hours. Now I get the potatoes from the freezer after it be frozen. I put it in a hot oil. Leave them until they are fried. I hope you try doing this with it for me friends. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try doing this. Thank you. 
Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make corn threads with spices. I have a group of spices, coriander, salt, black pepper and thyme, and I mix them with farm threads. I cut the potato into fingers like this. I put I have hot oil. I put the potato into hot oil. I leave the potato for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I get them out of oil in a strainer. Then I add, I put them in another plate. Then I add spices. I put them in the freezer for two or three hours until it becomes frozen. Then I fry it again. Now I get the potatoes from the freezer after it be frozen. I put it in a hot oil. Leave them until they are fried. I hope you try doing this potato firm frets. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try doing this. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do firm frets potatoes with the flavor of ketchup. I have one spoon of ketchup to make the potato I uh, peel it and the oil to fry and one teaspoon of salt I peel uh, the potato and wash it well I have this tool to cut into fingers I put the potato after I cut it to fingers I wash it well next I put the salt and the ketchup this ketchup I do at home you can go to the learn the cooking channel to know how I make it Leave them in the ketchup for 10 minutes. Then I fry it. Now I fry the potatoes with ketchup in hot oil.
I leave them for 10 minutes, uh, for 2 minutes, just 2 minutes, then I come again. After 2 minutes, I turn off the fire and decrease the potato out of the oil. Put them here in the steamer to get rid of the oil. I frozen it in the freezer for three hours. Now, after the potatoes are frozen and in a hot oil, I can put the potatoes. This is farm fresh with flavor of capture. Now they are well done and fried well. I get them out of the oil. Now I finish the frying potato. They are farm fresh potato. It's very nice and delicious. I hope you try doing it and I hope you enjoy watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do farm fresh potato with the flavor of salt and vinegar. I have one potato, I peel it and wash it, one spoon of uh, salt, one tablespoon of vinegar and uh, oil to fry. I cut the potato into the uh, fingers. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. You will find the channel a lot of videos, food, sweets, bakeries, and different kinds of food. Then I bought the salt and vinegar and leave them for 10 minutes. Then I fry them. After 10 minutes, I fry the potatoes with vinegar and salt in hot oil. I leave them in the oil for 2 minutes. After two minutes, I get the potato in the skinner. I 
I put them in the freezer for four hours. Then I complete frying them. After the potatoes frozen, I put them in a hot oil. And leave them on a high uh, flame until they well up. You can notice that the potatoes fry. They are very delicious. You can see it has a golden color. Nice shape. Now the potatoes farm and fritz are well done. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Please activate the bell icon. Uh, in the channel you can find a lot of videos, different kinds of food, bakeries, juice, desserts. Tell me your opinion and I need your support for the channel. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do fillet fish uh, in the oil, fried in the oil. The ingredients I have fillet fish, one egg, I put, put a bit in it. The spices I have, cumin, salt, uh, red, pe red pepper and garlic. And this is already spices. These spices you can get it for fish, fried fish or chicken, fried chicken. It's very nice, you can get it from any market. I put in the egg. I put the spices on the egg. I mix the spices with the egg. I take one piece of fish and put it in the egg. Then in this spices. Then I put it in a hot oil Another one I take one piece of fish Put it here Then in the spices Then in a hot oil, leave them for five minutes and we will get out of the oil. I stir the, uh, the fillet fish on the other side to fry. I get out the fillet fish on a kitchen teacher tissue now it's ready to eat it's well done if you like the video please subscribe the channel 
and you can find in the channel a lot of videos different kinds of food juice and sweets i hope you're watching this videos and tell me your opinion thank you hello everybody in our channel learn cooking today i go i'm going to make a fish in the tray in the oven i grilled it in the oven uh, i have one fish i clean it well and uh, i have salt red chili pepper cumin and garlic now i put the fish in the tray i bought spices from all sides and the lemon juice Then I put a little oil. I put them in the oven over 180 degree or 200 degree until it become well done. Now the grilled fish in the oven is finished and well done. I hope you try doing it. It's very nice and luscious. I hope you tell me your opinion about the video and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I am going to do farm fried potato with flour of red chili pepper and uh, lemon. Uh, first I cut the potato into finger shape like this and then I wash it. Uh, I have a cup of uh, oil to fry it. I have tablespoon uh, or teaspoon of red chili pepper. I put on them. Then I squeeze the lemon. Leave them in this mixture for ten minutes. After 10 minutes, I get the potatoes, the red pepper and lemon and fry it in a hot oil. I fry them for two minutes. After two minutes, I get them out of the oil in a skinner. I bought them in the freezer for three hours, then I complete it. Now I fry the potatoes, farm fresh potatoes with lemon and uh, red hot pepper. Now it's fried, I get them out of the oil. Now the potatoes for the fries, they are well done. I hope you try doing it, they are very delicious and easy. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about them. Thank you. 
Hello everybody in our channel Love Cooking. Today I'm going to do farm fresh potato with the flavor of a cheese. I have cheese chopped in small pieces, turkey cheese. I have oil to fry the potatoes. I have one potato. I cut the potato in this two. After I cut into fingers, now I fry it. I put the oil on the fire. When it becomes hot, I put the potatoes. No, not now. I put the potatoes now. I leave it for two minutes, only two minutes. After two minutes, I get them out of the oil. And put them in the freezer for three or four hours until they are frozen. Then I complete it. I put them in the freezer now for four hours. To fry the potatoes, I put oil on the fire. It should be hot. Now I put the frozen potatoes. Now they are well done. I get them out of the fire. Then I spread the turkey cheese on them. Like this, when it's very hot. To have the taste of a cheese. I hope you're trying it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. I'm going today to fry fish. We'll learn how to fry fish on the plate. I have fish, I have oil, salt, garlic, red chili pepper, and uh, uh, cumin, and lemon. Now, 
I put the spices inside the fish and from all sides like this. Then I want lemon juice. Now I fry it on the fire. Now the oil become hot. I put the fish. Then add in the hot oil. I leave them for five minutes until it's the well done. When I catch in the tissue, I get out the fish now from the oil. Now I squeeze the lemon and it's well done. You can eat it now. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you try doing it until you're open. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make fried potato with black pepper. I have one potato. I peel it with a knife and cut into a figure shape, figure slices like this. I wash it with water. I have salt and black pepper. Uh, I have a hot oil. When the oil becomes very hot, now I put the potatoes. When the oil becomes hot, I fry the potatoes. Leave them for 10 minutes. Every three minutes, I stir the potatoes to fry from uh, all sides. Now the potatoes is well done. I get out so I get the potatoes out of oil in the kitchen tissue. On the channel you can find how to make farm fresh potatoes, also it's nice and delicious. I hope you try doing this recipe. I get out the potatoes from the hot oil. Now I put a mix of salt and black pepper when it's hot. I hope you try doing this potatoes. You will find it delicious. Mix them together. I hope you try doing this recipe. At the channel you can find how to make farm fruits potatoes and 
and another kind of potatoes. Thank you. Hello everybody on our channel Learn Cooking. Today I am going to do potato with bread crumbs. I have a small potatoes, I wash it well, then I put it in a, a pan with oil with water. I put it on the fire for about 14 minutes. I have a bread crumbs, one egg, a spices, salt, black pepper, coriander and camel. I put the potatoes on the fire, then I complete it. Next, after 14 minutes, I have the potato, I peel it, I cut it into slices. Like this. With a fork, I get one piece. I mix all the spices together. I put the spices on the bread crumbs. I beat the egg. I put a little oil, I let a little milk on the egg. Then I mix them. I take this potato, I put it in the egg. Then in the crumbs, bread crumbs. I take another one. I prefer to use a little thick stick like this. I take it here in the egg, then in the bread crumbs. I put the oil on the fire to fry this potato. Then I put the potatoes with bread crumbs in the hot oil. Now after I fried it, they are very delicious, you can see uh, they are fried well. I hope you enjoy watching the video and telling me your opinion about them. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make potato with salt, fried potatoes. Uh, I get the potato, one potato, I peel it and cut it into slices, finger slices, like this. I wash it well with warm with water. Then I have a spoon of salt. I put the salt on the potato and leave them for 10 minutes in salt to have the test. After 10 minutes I will fry it in hot oil. When the oil becomes hot, I fry the potatoes, leave them for 10 minutes, every 
three minutes, I stir some kids to fry from uh, all sides. Now the potatoes is well done. I get out of I get the potatoes out of oil in the kitchen tissue. On the channel you can find how to make farm fresh potatoes. Also it's nice and delicious. I hope you try doing this recipe. Now we we'll learn how to make potatoes with salt. I don't put any salt now. It's okay and well done. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I hope you try doing this video. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll learn how to make chops with salt and lemon. We have a potato, we peel the potato and we have the uh, mechanic chops. We, we cut the chops with the machine like this. Or we have another shape which is like this. We cut the chips. The machine gives me the shape to have spaces. I cut all the shapes and I'll come again. After I cut all the potatoes, I can now put uh, two big spoons of salt and squeeze the lemon and leave the potatoes in this mix for 15 minutes after 15 minutes i will uh, put it in a hot oil now after 15 minutes i put uh, uh, oil on the pan or on the tray the oil is very hot now i fry the potatoes You can try it, you will find it very nice and sweet. Put the potatoes one by one. Don't put all the potatoes together. Put one by one. Leave them for five minutes. Now I stir the potatoes from the other side. Now I get it out of the oil on a kitchen tissue. 
at the end the chips it's very nice you can see it has a golden color so it well done if you like the video please subscribe the channel if you have any comments write it I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it thank you hello everybody in our channel learn the cooking today I'm going to do the kini or I'm going to make curgate I have one onion chopped onion one cup of uh, soup any soup you have uh, two tablespoons of tomato sauce I do at home uh, salt black pepper and uh, coriander and uh, 20, 250 grams of uh, zucchini I have a tray like this it's a simple way and the healthy way I put the zucchini in the tray Then I got the onions. Tomato sauce. The spices, salt, black pepper, coriander. Then I put the soup. I can add a cup of water. I put it in the oven for about one hour. You can see it if the uh, if the water dried. You can add another cup of water until it well done. I put it in the oven for one hour then I come again to see you at, at the end I hope you try doing this this is a tray of the zucchini or curgate at the, in the oven I hope you try doing it it's very delicious and very healthy uh, no fats in it I hope you try doing it and I hope you are watching the video if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinions about it. Thank you. Hello everybody on our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do a nice recipe. Uh, all children or kids like it. I want to, to prepare a couscous at home. I have one kilo of flour, cup of milk, warm water, dry yeast and one tablespoon of dry yeast and one tablespoon of salt I put the salt and dry yeast in the water I stir them together Let them for five minutes in the warm water. After five minutes, I get some water in my hand. I spray it on the floor like this. Put the water in my hand and stir like this. It's a very simple and easy way like this I stir spread water stir until it contains small balls
I use this sieve to view the floor. I get the pieces and I put them in the mixer. to change it into, into small pieces to prepare couscous I have this pan contains of two pieces this, uh, this uh, one I put it uh, full of water half of, the, half of it full of water and the other one it's a, a thinner, thinner. I bought a piece of curtain on it Next, I bought that I do in the mixer It uh, has very small pieces like this I do the same way again I put the floor in the sieve I bought this uh, thick pieces in the mixer as you can see it's very big I bought them in this mixer to change them into small pieces they become the very small pieces I bought them in the pan again I complete with the same way I spread water and stir spread water and stir I complete all the amount of floor that I have then I show what I do next after I finished uh, I bought the, the pan on the fire on a, on a uh, 3 to 1 After I finished all the mount of floor I bought them on the fire on a high heat and I cover uh, the couscous with the, the curtain and I cover the pan I let them on the fire for 1 hour next I tell you what I do next After 1 hour I bought the couscous in another pot uh, to put a cup of milk on it. Now I bought the milk and stir, spread the milk and stir. It's very easy. I bought a cup of milk If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion I bought it again on the fire Put again the couscous uh, in the pan and put again on the fire for 30 minutes. Then I turn off the fire after 30 minutes. The last step for couscous I put 
some in the dish. Then I bought a spoon of butter. to have a delicious taste. Light this and stir. It's very simple and very easy. You can but if you like it uh, to be sweet, you can but uh, one tablespoon of sugar. It uh, also have a very nice taste. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and tell me your opinion. And I hope you activate the bell icon. It's very easy and I hope you try doing it and tell me your opinion. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel learn okay? Today we'll do together croissant with pasterma. This pasterma I do at home, it's very easy and delicious you can do it at home uh, with a simple ingredients and uh, I have uh, to the do three cups of flour half cup of yogurt one tablespoon of yes one tablespoon of sugar and half teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of sugar vanilla two tablespoons of Butter and a half cup of oil and one egg. For the curate, I have another one egg. And first, I put the floor in the bowl. Then I put the yeast. Mix them together. And the sugar. I put the powder Then I put the salt I mix them together I put the oil and the butter Then I put the egg I mix them Then I add the, if you have yogurt, if you have milk, I got them. Little by little.
I add the vanilla. I make it a bowl. Put it in a warmer place to raise and be done. After two hours, the dough become double its raise. And now I have four nights. I had to do Next, with a knife, I cut into triangles. Like this. I cut uh, the two into triangle shape. Now I put the stir up in them. I put the stir up. Then I roll it.
I bought it in a tray. I pressed the tray with the oil and you can follow me. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. I leave it to be double in the tray and uh, now I complete all the two. To brush uh, the danish or the croissant, I have an egg. I feed the egg. With a little of milk. And I have a sister. Now I brush the croissant with egg, a little of milk. I bought them in the oven uh, for uh, 200 degrees. All right, the croissant at the end. I hope you tried doing it. It's very delicious. And uh, you can see it's well done. I hope you try it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel, Learn Cooking. Today you'll learn how to make the first tree a do or butter do. Uh, this uh, do consists of four cups of flour, one egg, a big spoon of sugar, half a spoon of salt, half a spoon of vanilla, a piece of a uh, half cup of uh, butter, half cup of oil, and a, a cup of milk, uh, two spoons of uh, do and one spoon of uh, baking powder. First I put the just and uh, baking powder on the two. I put the sugar and salt, mix them together, then I put the egg. I mix the egg with vanilla and I put the oil I mix them together with a piece of butter Then I put the, uh, the milk together. I mix all the ingredients together now with a spoon like this with my hand.
I hope you try doing this recipe. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. You will find a lot of videos in the channel from bakeries and uh, sweet juice, a different kind of food, chicken, meat, uh, fish. Now I mix with my hand. This is very soft. Now the dough is very soft and smoothy. I make it a bowl like this and leave it in a warm place to raise a bit double. The dough become double and it raise. You can use this magical dough uh, in a lot of bakeries, croissant, pate, puree, beef, beef pastry. Uh, a lot of dough. I can do croissant. I have a pieces of or a pool of dew. I need it. I put a little oil I cut it into triangle like chip, like this. I bought a piece of cheese in it.
and mozzarella cheese. Then I scrub. Like this. I put in a tray to be double again. Another one. I can put another piece of cheese. With mozzarella cheese. I put them together. And cut it right in here. Nice crop. Uh, we can do another one. I complete all of them, then I come again. Now I I get the croissant and brush it with an egg I beat the egg and brush the croissant put them in the oven over 200 degrees after I brush them I both them. I, I spread sesame on them I put them in the oven. Now croissant well done. I hope you like this video. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about the videos. In the channel there are a lot of videos, food, desserts, juice and pickers. I hope you try doing them. Thank you. in our channel learn cooking uh, today I'm going to need croissant croissant with vita cheese and olive garlic I have vita cheese olive garlic uh, the ingredients of do as three cups of flour uh, one egg uh, one tablespoon of uh, just one tablespoon of sugar Half little spoon of salt, half cup of butter, half cup of oil, and a little of vanilla and one tablespoon of baking powder, and a cup of yogurt or half cup of milk. To decorate, I have sesame and one egg. First, I put the floor in the bowl. Then I put the yeast. together and the sugar I put the powder and 
Then I put the salt. I mix them together. I put the oil. And the butter. Then I put the egg. I mix them. Then I add the, if you have yogurt, if you have milk, I got them. Little by little. I add the vanilla I make it a bowl. Put it in a warmer place to raise and be done. After two hours, the dough become double. It's red. And now I uh, form it. I have to do four pieces.
Next, with a knife, I cut into triangles. like this Now I put cheese with olive garlic, a piece of cheese. With olive garlic. Then roll it. I put it in a tray, brushed with oil. I complete all the do, then I leave it to be double for another one hour. To brush uh, the danish or the croissant, I have an egg, I feed the egg. With a little of milk. And I have a sauce. Now I brush the croissant with egg, a little of milk. I put them in the oven uh, for uh, 200 degrees. Are the croissant at the end. I hope you try doing it. It's very delicious. And uh, you can see it's well done. I hope you try it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm
delicious and you will like it so much. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell. 